So that's an Alabama sheriff. Now he deleted a photo of his Christmas tree. Now you say, why would you delete a photo of a Christmas tree? What's wrong with a Christmas tree? Well, his Christmas tree featured actual mug shots from social media and he was receiving a lot of backlash from the offending members of the public. So the controversial image surfaced on the Mobile County Sheriff's Office Facebook page on December the 3rd. Now the picture sh was showed it was decorated with string lights and more than 30 mug shots of people detained by sheriff's deputies. I say a pair of orange slides as a tree's topper, you know, the, the slides they wear at the jail. I mean, these people, you know, they, they love, they love to, um, enact a slave master mentality. So as the post that said, Oh, we almost forgot tat man from yesterday who broke into Cedar point fishing pier was arrested in Washington County. His name is Michael hoops and we have a warrant ready and waiting. And they had showed a picture of the tree. Um, now they said we have decorated our tree with thug shots to show how many thugs we've taken off the streets of mobile this year. He said, we could have not done it without our faithful followers. Now it's part of their thug Thursdays, uh, where they post on their social media page. Um, now they said the picture and the word thug didn't go over well, especially, you know, how they relate the word thug to us, you know, that's their version of the N word, right? Um, one, they said, there's no post more important than the lives they say of our deputies and the work they do in the communities and hell, if this post jeopardizes the relationship between law enforcement and other communities, we felt it's best to remove it. But they said the deletion did not stop a uh, critics expression and disapproval of the department's use of the word thug. Once again, we know when they say thug about black people, we know they're saying the N word. So one person say y'all are trash They say, we see your thug tree didn't go as planned and was dirty deleted. You understand what I'm saying? So they said another person said, why should we help? So you can put his face on a Christmas tree and maybe help them instead of mocking them. Another person wrote about them referring uh, to a robbery. Now, you have a lot of sick mentality in these police departments all over the country. So you can't, when they say the term police reform, they're not reforming anything because in order to have a true police reform, you literally got to tear the whole system down, rebuild it up from scratch. You can't reform. It's like somebody trying to reform poop. You can try to reform poop all you want. It's still going to stink. You can dress it up all you want. It's still a piece of poop at the end of the day. And that's what I liken to a police reform. You're trying to put a bowl and diamonds and, 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 and shine up poop, but it's still poop. That's the police departments. So police reform just not going to work. If police, if so-called police reform doesn't equal police punishment and the taking away of law enforcement license away from them, then you're not doing anything at that point. If it doesn't have them going through psychological evaluations and also checking if they have a racist past, racist social media, are they part of current racist groups uh, now? Um, are they affiliated with, with people on their social media page who are part of racist groups or malicious and all that? If you're not willing to do all that, then you're not doing anything. It, it's just that simple. But yeah, so this, this is in Mobile, Alabama, and this is what they're doing. And you wonder why black folks get shot the way they get shot. But leave me a comment. Let me know the thing about the situation with this, you know, tree, uh, for thug Thursdays. You know, I didn't know they had thug Thursdays. That's, uh, I heard of taco Tuesdays, but I never heard of thug Thursdays. That's a new one on me.